Given the equation below, without solving for x, determine the value of the following expressions by examining the change that occurred from the left-hand side of the equation above to the left-hand side of the equations below. So we are given the equation 2x plus 6 equals 1. And for the first example, we're asked to determine the value of the expression 2x plus 3. So beginning with the equation 2x plus 6 equals 1, we need the left side of the equation to be 2x plus 3. And because 6 minus 3 is equal to 3, if we subtract 3 from the left side of the equation, notice how we do get the expression 2x plus 3. And if we subtract 3 from the left, we must also subtract 3 from the right to maintain equality. And now if we simplify, we have 2x plus 3 equals 1 minus 3, which is equal to negative 2. Next, our goal is to determine the value of the expression 4 times the quantity 2x plus 6. And again, we know the quantity 2x plus 6 is equal to positive 1. So because we want 4 times the quantity 2x plus 6, if we multiply both sides of the equation by 4, we can determine the value of this expression. So we multiply the left side by 4. We must also multiply the right side by 4, which gives us 4 times the quantity 2x plus 6 must equal positive 4. Next, we're asked to determine the value of the expression the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 plus 3. So again, beginning with 2x plus 6 equals 1, let's first find the value of the expression the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 by taking the opposite of both sides of this equation, which is equivalent to multiplying by negative 1. This indicates that the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 equals negative 1. And our goal is to find the value of the expression that is 3 more than this, which is this expression, which means now we add 3 to both sides of the equation. So we have the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 plus 3 must equal negative 1 plus 3. Again, we add 3 to both sides of the equation to maintain equality. So we now know the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 plus 3 is equal to negative 1 plus 3, which is positive 2. And now let's look at this last expression, which is a little tricky. Our goal is to determine the value of this expression. Our goal is to, our goal is to determine the value of this expression, given we know the quantity 2x plus 6 is equal to positive 1. So because we have this subtraction here, we need to begin by determining the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6. To do this, we take the opposite of both sides of the equation, which we already did for this problem here. We know the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 is equal to negative 1. But notice how this is also divided by 4. So now we'll divide both sides of the equation by 4 to determine the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 divided by 4. So now we'll divide both sides by 4. So now we know the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 divided by 4 is equal to negative 1 fourth. Notice now we are still missing the 7 fourths from the expression. Because this is positive, we will now add 7 fourths to both sides of the equation. So we have the opposite of the quantity 2x plus 6 divided by 4 equals negative 1 fourth. And again, now we'll add 7 fourths to both sides of the equation. Now looking at the left side of the equation, because this is positive and we have a negative sign here, we can now rewrite the left side of the equation as positive 7 fourths. And then instead of plus this negative, we can write minus, and then we have the fraction, that's the quantity 2x plus 6 divided by 4, which now exactly matches the expression here. And on the right side of the equation, we have negative 1 fourth plus 7 fourths, which is 6 fourths. And 6 fourths does simplify because 6 and 4 share a common factor of 2. If we divide 6 by 2 and divide 4 by 2, we can see this simplifies to 3 halves. So now we know that 7 fourths minus the quantity 2x plus 6 divided by 4 equals positive 3 halves. I hope you found this helpful.